Hello Reformers and welcome to a special feature of Age of Rivals. Now this is a anti-card game. Yeah, it's a bit weird and the way with the way it works, but you catch on pretty quickly. It's quite easy to learn, but I would say that it has many many intricacies that you are going to be well, maybe a little bit confused by, but it is I think very fun. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to open some card packs. I actually got a card pack from my previous win or, or just completing the tutorial I believe so we, we as you can see we did get a, a new rival there we got some trebuchets and we also got a king's gift now the main thing that you have to take into account here I have not done the economy thing but I, I think I'm pretty I think I'm pretty good with that so as you can see there's a huge amount of different things to take into account here but the main thing that you have to think about are the cards now there are two there are many many different kinds of cards and basically what you want to do is you want to try and earn culture culture is the way you win as far as i'm aware as you can see here after the war phase all cards with culture score points directly so in other words if you have one culture it equals one point in the final round every two gold left over is worth one point so if you earn a lot of gold or if you earn a lot of culture then you will end up winning but obviously there are many other things that you can do for example you can injure and damage your enemies units and structures respectively so for example if you have you know one of these forts here you can destroy that with a trebuchet so if i can actually find where where's that trebuchet gone Oh, uh, obviously I just got it, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, well, never mind. But yes, you can obviously do that. So yeah, let, let's actually just play a game because obviously that is the main thing that we want to take into account here. So let's have a look. So I am going to, I, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to pick Lorenzo. Uh, should I pick the No, I'm, I'm just going to pick Ziana because that is the one that has things unlocked. Actually, no, I think Neri might actually be really good because the Temple of Commerce is really nice that's a really really nice guaranteed card that we can get there so i think we're probably going to do that and we're going to start off oh we're against lorenzo okay well that's interesting okay so the first round we have to build so as you can see we start off with 20 gold and we have eight gold income so every single round you gain eight gold so what are we going to do here well we have the opportunity to get plus one income and we can also get learning which is great for holy. Now, obviously, I don't know whether I have any holy cards at the moment, but I think we are probably going to need iron, so maybe it would be a nice idea to go for that. Obviously, the theater is very good too, because that gives you two culture. But first, we're going to do that, and we're going to get the iron, and then what happens is, if it will happen, thank you very much, uh, uh, yeah, he's just getting some wood, what happens is you swap cards. You actually swap cards, and then you get a bit of a discount for example, because I have iron here, you get a discount. So I get a discount on the phalanx, for example. So I'm going to be selecting the phalanx because that is a war unit, a you know, nice conquest unit. Oh, it's a little bit weird that he's actually choosing the learning one. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't know what the AI is going to do, but the AI is going to do it. And then after you've picked, then you get a whole new hand and you can pick two cards, one from your hand and one from the opponent's hand, and you have to try to get one up on them. So, for example, if I don't want them to take something, so if I don't want them to take... I don't know. If I, I'm going to just take Warrior Poets because they give you, as you can see, they give you two culture. So I'm going to take Warrior Poets because I don't want them to have that. Hopefully he's not going to take the theater. Ah, uh, he is going to take the theater. Yeah, exactly. I really, really wanted to take the theater, but unfortunately he... He decided to take that. Anyway, we can also... We can get a counterfeiter, which will duplicate the enemy's choice, which is actually maybe a nice idea. That's going to cost four gold. And, yeah, I think I think we're actually going to pick that. And we'll gain some stone. There you go. So we're, we're obviously getting that. There you go. Thank you very much. So now we have some stone. So if we wanted to, you know, that's, the, you know, a little bit of extra strategy, a little bit of deeper layer of strategy there. Personally feel like the game is actually extremely fun. I'm going to choose the gambling hall here. I think it is probably one of the best things. He doesn't have any war units right now and I actually have two so I don't think he's really going to be able to kind of actually do anything against us at the moment so let's just see ah there you go he's using crusaders okay right 
So does he have any structures? He doesn't have any structures, so the battering ram is not actually going to be anything useful. You can tell if it's a structure by the icon in the top left of the, the card, because right now we have infantry against us, we have artistic and things like that. I'm going to be getting the trade capital because that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at this. All of these... All of these, which are economic cards, gain two culture, which is absolutely fantastic. We're going to be doing that. I can't believe he didn't take that, actually. I think that that is absolutely amazing. I mean, he, he, for him, it would have been amazing because he has three economic cards, which would have been even better for him, but never mind. All right, so I only have four gold remaining. He actually has 12 gold remaining. He's done a little bit of a better job at managing his money. But let's just see what we can do here. I think I'm actually going to take... I'm going to take King's Gift because I'm hoping that he will not take Sanctuary. If he takes Sanctuary, then I, well, then we may be in a bit of trouble. But let's just, let's just take King's Gift. No, he's taking Master Builder. Okay, that's actually pretty good for us because now I can take... Oh, I can't take Sanctuary. Oh, you know why? He had a bit of a reduction there. He had a reduction due to his economy, and yeah, okay, well, I messed up there a little bit, but we have a guard tower, which is actually pretty nice. So, as you can see here, makes one of these temporarily stronger, which is usually a marksman or something along those lines, and yeah, it makes, and it has plus four to attack power. Obviously, we don't have any of those, so that's a bit of a shame, but let's actually see... What is he going to what is he actually going to do? Can you can you actually go? Oh yeah, I have to actually choose something first. Okay, so I'm going to choose I'm going to choose the sanctuary anyway. It becomes waste and gives us gold. So as you can see there, it gives us gold a little bit and now we are in the conquer stage. Now the conquer stage what that will do is, as you can see there, it will give you some points dependent on what kind of attack power you have. Obviously, I don't really have that much considering he has he does have a trebuchet there, so that obviously makes a difference. He has five attack with that. And that's going to mean that we, eh, you know, we missed out on the first couple of points, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, I think what we're going to now assign damage. So if you've played Magic the Gathering or something like that, then you can obviously assign damage to certain things. You know, you can actually put a card into, you know, defensive formation. This is kind of like that, but instead you just have a you know, a thing that you can target with it. So I'm going to target the guard tower with this. And I can also target the guard tower with this again. I think I'm actually going to do that because I don't think that there's anything else we can really do. Crusader. Oh, we actually killed one of their Crusaders. That's actually pretty nice. And we're gaining some more culture there. So that's nice. And now it's going to give us all the culture that we've gained. So as you can see, I now have 11 culture. He has 12. So he has won that round. But that doesn't matter, you see. That doesn't matter because there is a second round and we're going to be seeing what we do. So now it's just going to, you know, do all of these things that it does, the automatic things that, you, you, you know, it does at the end of the round where it will restore some cards and give them some, you know, HP and some armor and things like that. And there we go. We're gaining some other cards from the previous time there. So, yeah, I think that is actually pretty cool. We're going to try and see, okay, what do we want to take? Tax collectors would actually be fantastic. I think ta I think we should probably go for tax collectors, to be honest. That gives us plus five income. I don't know how many rounds there are, you know, you see, that's the, that's the bad thing. I haven't actually done a full game yet, but a Temple of Wisdom is also fantastic because it gives you six culture. Oh my... Very difficult, very difficult. Epic of Gil would also be fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this because it will give us culture as well as gold. So we'll just take the tax collectors. Hopefully, we'll be able to get silencers. I think silencers would be pretty amazing. Oh, he killed, he killed our tax collectors. That's not very nice, is it? Ah, uh, that is not very nice at all. Okay, one allied that gains it. No, we don't have any of those. Silencers, City Guard. Okay, we'll just go for the City Guard, I guess. I have a bad feeling that he's going to win this. Hilariously enough, I was actually winning the other game that I did just before this. Ah, oh, well, never mind. I suppose that's that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, hmm, yeah, yeah. Southern Trade, I suppose. One ally can't be knocked out or ruined. That's actually pretty nice. Hmm, okay, we'll just go for the Southern Trade, I guess. 
Oh, the Pantheon. Wow, he has so many good things. Look at that. He took the Temple of Wisdom and the Pantheon, and unfortunately, he knocked out our tax collectors. So unfortunately, we will not be able to make anything out of that. I'm going to take a stone wall here because I think that we are going to need something to distract the attackers from us. I killed his swift assassin, which is nice. So I suppose that's good. And there you go. Now he's going to be able to get both of the first things. Oh, no, actually, no. I actually got the second one. Oh, that's fantastic. I was a little bit worried about that for a second. But no, that's that's fine. Okay, so he's going to knock out our stone wall, as you can see. And now we have to assign damage. So uh, can I assign this? No, I can't, obviously. Uh, that's, a, that's unfortunate. Okay, so... Yeah, I can't really do much more, can I? I guess I'm going to assign it here. Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to assign it there, I guess. And then we're going to have to knock out the city guard, I suppose. Not much more I can do. I mean, I just have to take some losses. So we're going to gain that. There we go. And we're going to hopefully get some pretty decent scores here. Nice, nice. Okay, he's going to get much more. Yeah, he is going to get much more. I don't know whether... Is, is it just two rounds? Or is it three rounds? If it's three rounds, we might actually have an opportunity to attain victory here. Maybe. Oh yes. Also, if you are interested in this game, by the way, from how it looks, then you can take a look in the description. There is a link to the Steam store page there. And yeah, you can uh, check out some of the additional features that I have not covered. There is a PvP mode as well. So there is online. I'm not entirely sure how active it is. But as you can see, the AI does actually seem to be pretty decent at the game anyway. And, you know, it, you know I'm, I'm not... Um, you know, I'm not particularly bad at card games, I think, but yeah, in general, it seems like this guy is doing quite well. Anyway, let's see. I'm going to take a money lender because that means that our next purchase is free. So I should be able to get the diamond mine. Hopefully, maybe for free. Can I? Yep, there you go. I can get this for free. And that's going to give us plus six to income, which is fantastic. And we're getting a nice discount there. So, I'm going to reduce all enemy war damage by one for each one of our... Ooh, yeah, that's nice. I'm going to take the Emperor's Wall. Look at that. That's going to reduce his damage by three, which is really insane. I like that quite a lot. Okay, so we've got a nice discount here. Inconceivable wonder. Oh, we must go for this. Look at how amazing it is. Wow. All right. Okay, so, yeah, one enemy... Oh, that's unfortunate. They, they, yeah, he, he just completely destroyed how much culture we're getting from that. Obviously, he's going to gain a little bit of culture from this. Uh, I don't really mind about that so much, because we're going to gain a pretty big amount. Obviously, war is not going to be very good for him, I hope. Oh, uh, well, that, that's kind of a shame, isn't it? That is kind of a shame. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be assigning the damage here, and... Hmm, yeah, that gives us a lot of score there. I'm probably going to... Hmm, probably just assign that here and here. Wow, we have to we have to knock out a bunch. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? Well, there you go. I, I did my best. I don't know whether we're going to win, are we? It's unlikely, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, he absolutely destroyed us right there. Wow. So, yeah, if you just think about it, that this is the normal AI, and, you know, there is actually a much harder AI that you can fight, obviously that means that you're going to have a really, really big challenge. And I don't think the... Ah, there you go. Okay, this is the final round. And I don't think that the price is actually even that much. So if you have a little bit of cash to spare, you know, why not check it out? And, oh, okay, so we're, we're just shuffling and choose which eight to repurchase for the final round. All right, so we now have to choose. Okay, I'm going to repurchase the Inconceivable Wonder, I think. Or maybe the Warrior Poets. I think the Warrior po Poets are actually a little bit better. Let's do that. Okay, uh, yeah, the Emperor's Wall is really nice. I think, yeah, we're going to go for the Emperor's Wall. Might be good to go for the phalanx, though. Uh, maybe I made a bit of a mistake there. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so we're going to go for stone, because that has plus four culture. I don't think we're going to win this, but we're going to try. We're going to try our very best. Okay, let's do that. City guard, I think, is really nice, because if he chooses a... an What is that? What is that again? It's like a... 
Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's very, very good. Okay, we'll go for tax collectors. If he chooses one of those, then obviously that's pretty good. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. He killed our warrior poets, really? Ah, oh, are you serious? Okay, well, never mind. I suppose we can go for... Uh, I guess I just have to go for iron, don't I? I'm going to just try and go for as much culture as possible, but that's the thing. It, I don't know whether it's going to make too much difference. It's really not. He doesn't actually even have an opportunity to do anything here, does he? He doesn't, because he has run out of money. He's literally run out of money. That is amazing. Alright, so we have a discount here. I'm going to go for the Inconceivable Wonder. We can only hope that maybe I'll be able to catch up. I have so much culture right here, I might be able to catch up. Oh, the Pantheon again! The Pantheon is doing the exact same thing they did beforehand. That is so annoying. Ah, oh. Okay, well, yeah, it seems like he's actually going to win this. We were just not very lucky in terms of our attack here. I mean, he has trebuchets. They're very good. And now we have to assign some damage. Okay, so I guess I can assign that... And we can assign that, I suppose, and that. There we go. I guess that's just how it's going to have to be. Oh, oh, well, there you go. So we did lose, I think. Yeah, I think it is. But I almost caught up. Kind of. Not really. Yeah. You can also, yeah, as you, as you saw in the rules, you can actually, you know, get points from gold left over so I probably should have done a little bit more in regards to that but as you can see it's actually a really really fun game and you have a variety of different missions every single day and you can even join an alliance if you so desire so if you join an alliance that means you get daily rewards an alliance is a player run alliance thing I don't know but it's really cool in my opinion and also you do have a wide variety of different cards anyway I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time